Hi everybody, welcome to tonight's show, At Home Edition. Guys, we had some great news yesterday. Our friends over at State Farm said that they will match up to $100,000 of donations. So if you're on YouTube right now, click that button, donate to redcross.org slash State Farm. Uh, our, our neighbors over at State Farm, thank you, thank you so much for doing this. It's the coolest thing. Uh, and I just love how uh, everyone is just helping out. It's just really amazing. Speaking of helping out, I wanted to say, uh, we talked yesterday about Steve Higgins' daughter. Anna Higgins is a nurse, and we thanked her for all she does. But to every nurse out there, I really want to say thank you so much for what you're doing. You guys are on the front lines, and the doctors as well. Uh, you're, you're heroes, so thank you guys so much. Um, we have a fun show tonight. Uh, my pal, my BFF, Demi Lovato, is on the show. What? She is the greatest. Uh, we're going to talk to her. We're going to have a little art class, a little painting lesson with Demi. Uh, she's been doing a lot of painting, and I'm going to try a self-portrait with her. And then she's going to sing her new song, I Love Me, to close out the uh, show tonight. And it's a beautiful song with a great message. And she's just, she can do it all. She's great. Also, I have Jonathan Van Ness is on the show. He has a children's book called Peanut Goes for the Gold. And it is about a non-binary guinea pig who wants to win the gold medal in uh, rhythmic gymnastics. So it's one of those books. Oh, I've seen that one before. Yeah, obviously. Um, but it's so great to talk to him uh, and we'll find out. Uh, their charities, which we have right here actually. This is uh, Demi Lovato's charity. When he wrote this out, we'll mm. maybe do a Chiron for you. So you can see, hashtag uh, cut50, it's a petition uh, for you to sign. Um, basically, um, raising awareness for prisoners and people uh, incarcerated that need help during this time as well. Um, a little criminal justice there. Uh, and then right here, this is aliforneycenter.org. Um, and this is more of a New York local charity that Jonathan will talk about later in the show. But I appreciate it. Um, guys, let's uh, do a little monologue. We, we did it yesterday from the lemonade stand, so now we graduated and we have a real, actual working desk. Look how exciting this is. Wow. So, <laughs> it's a little rickety, but this is it right here. Um, my camera operator is my wife, Nancy. I love you so much. Um, if you want to, you can zoom in a little bit. Gary, I guess you want to come in too. Okay. Hi, Gary. Gary, you want to be... You want to be a guest? Higgins. Higgins. Come here, Gary. <laughs> Good girl. All right. Welcome to the Tonight Show, everybody. At Home Edition. It's a fun day in our house because I decided to cook up a real special meal. <laughs> Welcome to the Tonight Show. At Home Edition. It's a fun day in our house because it's pizza night. What a show we have for you guys. Demi Lovato and Jonathan Van Ness are my guests tonight. And who knows, maybe the My Pillow guy will drop in for no reason at all. Did you see that yet, honey? Oh, yeah, that's right, too. Let's get to some news. A Navy hospital ship has arrived in New York because if there's one thing we've learned from the crisis is that you definitely want to be on a giant ship. Well, this is nice. Last night, the Empire State Building was lit up in red and white flashing lights to honor health care workers. When they saw that, New Yorkers were like, that's great. And maybe next time, could you give us a heads up? What? I thought we were being invaded by North Korea. The flash, this, I didn't know it could do that. What do you, gosh, warn me, warn me, folks. Yep, everyone was confused by the red and white flashing lights. At first, New Yorkers thought it meant Target finally got a shipment of toilet paper. I saw that there's a Microsoft Excel training program now available for $49.99. Yep, I'm three weeks of isolation board, but I'm not quite Microsoft Excel training board. This year you can order, uh, I saw, this year you can order Girl Scout cookies online. That's awesome. And to give you the real experience, after you buy two boxes, a Girl Scout pops up on the screen and guilts you into buying two more. <laughs> I guess, what's another box of Thin Mints? Give me a Thin Mint. I heard that people have been passing the time by stress baking, which is just like regular baking, except when it's done, you eat all of it over the sink. And finally, in Australia, an astrophysicist got magnets stuck up his nose while trying to invent a device to stop people from touching their faces. That story again. Hey, Winnie and Franny, you, you both have what it takes to be astrophysicists. 
And that's our monologue for tonight. Guys, you've been sending in great questions called Ask the Fallons. And uh, questions you want to ask my wife, Nancy, or my daughters, Winnie and Franny. So we went for a social distancing walk today and had a couple nice discussions. Please enjoy. Okay, so this is interview number two. Are those my sunglasses? No. Mm, yes, I only own your sunglasses. Isn't it funny? Sometimes we, sometimes we don't even practice it or whatever, or talk about it, or plan it, but we wear the same thing sometimes, right? <laughs> if it's a stripy shirt or... Yeah, for like navy sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking like we're getting ready for a bad, yep. awkward family portrait. Yep. Uh, how's, how's homeschooling, by the way? It's been, it's been fun. Oh, my gosh. Here comes a van. <laughs> but we're going to wait. Bye. Um, homeschooling. These teachers are brilliant, Amazing. devoted, loyal. They are just going so out of their way to make this okay for those of us who do not know what we're doing raising hand high and um we're getting through it here we go are you getting better at zoom i am getting uh, ish i still fight it but i keep saying about this whole virus thing stop fighting it stop fighting the change stop fighting the new way of life for now just go with it and i think it will help you mentally okay these are questions people want to know or want me to ask you okay what's your favorite memory with gary from at oh. P Rock J. My most favorite memory with Gary was. <laughs> it's not the, the, it, the delivery. Yes, of course. That's my the first memory. It was my favorite memory with Gary. Uh, was Gary was a complete surprise. And um, by the way, guys <laughs> and girls, whoever's yes. watching, if you're gonna get a surprise for your wife, uh, don't don't get her a dog because it's like getting. It's like getting her a job, really. It was a, it was another job, um, but I love Gary. <laughs> Is that where I, you were crying? I know, I really, I really cry because I couldn't believe. She was so beautiful and perfect and so cute, and I just couldn't even believe it. But then, of course, I probably started bawling, trying to think of, what do we have? I need to take care of her. Where does she sleep? What's the plan? What's the plan? Oh, she's the best. She's part of the family. She's also very loyal. I was thinking about the time. Remember me. when... <laughs> <laughs> we were having a party. I want to say it's Thanksgiving. Oh no! Or when Franny's birthday or something, and everyone was upstairs with your dad, and your dad had the walker, <laughs> and you're trying to get your dad safely, <laughs> safely to the elevator so that he can leave. Oh. But then someone had Gary on a leash because we didn't want to bring Gary to the party or something. That we kept her well, up because Gary's in a, a bit separate of a room. Jumper. Yeah. So only we, on people who don't want to be jumped on. But then what happened? The leash got caught in the walker. <laughs> in the <laughs> tangled into the walker. Tangled into the walker and just to start doing and spin outs. My dad is yelling, I have to work a turn and then everyone of course all trying the to hold the dad women dad around, and dad, the trying dog to move them all yelling and screaming. And everyone's, and oh, Gary f made sounds for the first time. She usually doesn't and blah blah blah. <laughs> that was a Gary memory. Hi. Hi guys. How you guys doing? Beautiful baby. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. So much. Uh, bye Jake. Ooh, Nancy, this is from at Girly Sunglasses. Ooh. Oh, I just took my sunglasses off. Nancy, what did you think of Jimmy when you first met him on the set of Fever Pitch? Which is Um I thought I first met Jimmy actually on SNL and I had gone in. I am producing partners with Drew Barrymore and she was on the show that week. I remember that. And she and Jimmy were practicing a sketch and I went in. And I kind of crept in quietly, and all of a sudden, some <laughs> Jimmy goes, "Hey, Nancy, you're Nancy. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Welcome." And I felt just so embraced and like cool, like thank you, thank you for welcoming me in. This is so nice. It's so intimidating. So I had that thought from years before going in, and then because it could be in intimidating if you go to Saturday Night Live, you don't know anybody. So intimidating, and I had no real reason to be there. I was sort of like meeting her to go somewhere or something. Anyway, so, but then on the set, um, we were on location and that really creates this like camp feel for everybody. And, uh, hi. hi. And um, he was just so 
friendly and fun and welcoming and he loved music and then when I really developed a crush was when um, Bradley Thomas's kids came to set and he had a little girl named Lucy and a little boy named Charlie and I played with Lucy and Jimmy played with Charlie and really played like really into it as if they'd come to visit us and so I think that's when my heart just sort of melted even more <laughs> I remember those kids oh they're so cute yeah they're uh, like teenagers now or in college probably I remember when I first when I first experience the, the magic that is <laughs> Nancy Javon. Uh, we were on the set, but it, we were filming Fever Pitch in Boston. Yeah. And it was a rainy, gray, Boston-y day. Yep. And you came to set and you- I walked to set. That was their first day of shooting. Yeah. And you walked to set and I want to say you had white pants, yes. a pink sweater, <laughs> and a green yeah, backpack? My, my, my green Jansport backpack <laughs> that I think I'd had since college. And blonde hair and your white teeth and that. And I was like, you just stood out in this gray. It was almost, I could see it. It was almost like a painting. And you stood out like a neon. <laughs> and I was like, uh, wow. She is, uh, yeah, you just stuck out. And I was like, and you're just so fun. We had so much fun on that. Yeah, we had so we? much fun. And we got to just... Um, sort of flirt and hang out and get to know each other without having to go on a date or anything like that no. for months we got to just be pals yeah and have crushes which is so hard and so fun and it shouldn't just be limited to high school right it's so fun to have to kind of wait and just like ooh, what should i wear today is he gonna be on set early what's gonna happen <laughs> is he shooting today yeah yeah but we got so. to know each other's musical tastes and well, yeah, and then when the show ended, we weren't sure, like, maybe this is nothing. Maybe this is just a cute little flirt. And I'm like, he's probably dating, like, 30 women. I don't know. Well, I, I, I know now how funny that is, but it, at the time, <laughs> I didn't know. Gosh, dating 30 women, oh, my God. And like, who knows? I don't know what people do. I know, I'm like Pete the Pilot. Yeah, I totally were The Bachelor. <laughs> and then, I, you know, I'm sure he didn't know what I was up to. No. And then when we saw each other in again London. in right. London, when we were selling the movie, to sell the movie, and I was like, "Hey, I miss you. I'm gonna hang out with you." Mm -hmm. And then you said, "We miss you too." <laughs> so corny. This Poor is gonna balls. be the corniest, corniest video <laughs> that I've ever seen. All right, that's enough. Ask the, ask the found for now, right? It's a good, good session, I think. It's a good session. It's a good session. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Bye. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.